Well, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Happy garbage day. Uh, great day because, oh boy, it's getting warmer and nicer and we feel like spring is coming, although I know there's probably going to be still cold weather on its way, but it is a beautiful morning. Uh, the sun is rising earlier, so now when I wake up, I don't feel so uh, like it's still nighttime and I should still be in sleep. But uh, boy, it's uh, beautiful and uh, loving each day. Uh, I got to speak to all my kids yesterday, which was a wonderful gift to missing Abby and Josh quite a bit, but uh, boy, hearing what the Lord is doing through them and for them in their schools and how much uh, joy and pride they're having is just a, a wonderful blessing uh, as, a, as a parent and uh, as a pastor too. Uh, today's devotion uh, is from our gospel from this last weekend. Uh, good morning, Lori. Uh, and with that devotion, uh, one of the readings was the gospel, which uh, I did not preach on. I spoke more about Joseph, but I also uh, want to just encourage because Jesus gives us some very uh, strong words of how to live our lives, which I went, I use the word, uh, you know, following Christ, well, is extremely difficult. It's rather impossible. Uh, we rely upon his spirit to enable us to do this. So I want to have a, a little bit of a, a reflection upon God's word today from Luke 6, 27 to 38, which says, But I say to you who hear, Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. To one who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And for the one who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic. Either give to everyone who begs from you, and do not. And from the one who takes away your goods, do not demand them back. And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. If you love those who love you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you expect to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount. But love your enemies and do good and lend, expecting nothing in return. And your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High. Now, for he is kind to the ungrateful and the evil. Be merciful as your Father is merciful. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you use it will be measured back to you. Here ends the word of the Lord. Now, let's be honest. These are some extremely hard sayings, especially in the world in which we live, where there's so much criticism, so much argument, so much attacks uh, from one side to the other, and we're usually forced or, or told we have to take a, a, a side. Here we have Jesus' sayings that are just so contrary to human nature. I mean, to do what Jesus says would be have to go against what we feel we want to do or what is natural. There are like directions that only those who really, 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 really love Jesus would ever want to follow. I mean, who would ever want to do these kinds of things? It would have been really easier, easy for the gospel writers to try to water down these sayings of Jesus. I mean, they could have uh, said, uh, love your enemies, but instead of that, um, you know, just... Be, be kind to them or, well, you know, ignore them for a little while. And they'll get the point and they'll drift away. I mean, that's maybe what our, natu our nature tells us. For centuries of bad blood that we, there's been between nations, between tribes, we hear what's going on over in Russia and Ukraine right now, and even among families. Who's interested in ever loving their enemy? So maybe if I just kind of avoid them, well, then they'll, they'll die and I don't have to worry about them. They'll move away or they'll just kind of get the hint and go somewhere else. Maybe I don't have to do anything too rash. But the problem here is that Jesus' words show, as Scripture often does, how God's ways are not our ways. Not even close. Not even <laughs> an inch close. Uh, God would have us to give rather than to take. He would have us to forgive rather than punish. And... Though we are created in God's image, our resemblance to our maker quickly fades when the rubber hits the road. But Jesus gives you and me the opportunity to become more like him, doesn't he? And how refreshing that is to be like Jesus, the one who gave his life for us, 
so that we would have life eternal. See, the one who gives us these directions to go out to forgive, to love, to pray for, to lend, uh, which all go against our human nature, he sets the example. He lives that life himself. And so as we realize it's virtually impossible to be able to do exactly what Jesus calls us to do here, we look to him. We look to his spirit to give us the, the strength, to give us the wherewithal, to enable us to see things through the cross where he ultimately gave his all for us. You see, it's the cross that brings these things into meaning because it reminds us of God's will for all people. and reminds us that we are not to let our anger get the most of us, to hold grudges, or to treat others in a, in a different way because of, uh, well, because of our past experiences with them or even our family's past experiences or because of the color of their skin or because of where they live or anything else. And yet those who maybe mistreat us, who hurt us, we're called to love, to forgive, to give, all as a reflection of what God has done for us. And so the... Uh, <laughs> The fact of these teachings here, they are extremely difficult. They are impossible to do. Our nature doesn't want us to. We want to protect ourselves. We want to take care of our family. We want to take care of ourselves into retirement. We don't want to give to people who don't lend back or who don't pay back. But the fact is, that's what everyone else does. God has called us to live different. So to keep that different focus in our lives of how we treat others, of how we treat even those who are our enemies, because all the time it gives a witness to who God is. And if we're truly professing who God is in our lives, it's lived out in how we interact with others. Paul writes in Philippians 2, in your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as that of Jesus Christ. I mean, that, that's, that's our, our focus. The way we treat others would be the way that Jesus would treat them himself. Well, what if they are people who are horrible sinners? He would eat with them. He would share his love and compassion. He would not seek them to continue to sin, but to continue to be kind and compassionate and lead them towards the means of salvation, which is him himself. <laughs> and so that's our, our role, pointing people to Christ through our lives, through our words, through our actions. Again, maybe the reminder today being garbage day, Jesus taking away our sins, reminds us that even when we falter, even when we can't do this because it is so difficult to do, we always turn back to him. Be forgiven, be restored, be empowered, be encouraged to go out and try again, to go out and to live that life of service and love and kindness again. Each day is a new day to put the past in the past and to start over fresh and the forgiveness that we have in Christ. And so that was the devotion I want to share today, is realizing just how hard it is, almost virtually impossible to follow Jesus. And yet we still strive to do it by the power of God's Spirit working in us. Let's bow our heads for a moment of prayer. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, Lord, I thank and praise you for this new and beautiful day. The sun is rising earlier, and it reflects your glory to the world. And yet, Lord, you call us, besides just creation declaring your glory, how we are to call, we are call, called each to go out and share your love, to reflect Christ's life and his glory to others. Not a glory that can be seen through sunrises, but a glory that can be seen through forgiveness and love, through generosity and compassion. A glory that is only known through the cross and the gospel message that we share. So, Lord, equip us each today, empower us, enable us to follow Christ as difficult, as impossible as that may seem. And Lord, through our following of Jesus, might others come to know you, to be saved, and to be enveloped in the same love, forgiveness, peace, and generosity that we have received. We ask all this through Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for joining me for devotion this morning. A uh, number who jumped on, it's good to see uh, see each of you this morning. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Jim. Uh, great to have you guys all with me, and I look forward to seeing you worship at home tomorrow evening at 7 and then bright and early Thursday morning. Have a blessed day in the Lord. Know that I love you. And Justine, aloha. <laughs>